Today I'm in my favorite place in my apartment, my balcony. And in this video I'm going to show you a few different projects that I did to give it a completely different look. When I moved into my LA apartment, one of the first things that I did was to give my balcony a makeover. Now because I'm a renter, I did have to do things a little bit differently because I couldn't make any holes in the walls. I also needed storage, so I built this humongous bench that did double duty by serving as seating for the table, but also had storage underneath it. I really enjoyed hanging out on this balcony over the last five years, but I didn't end up sitting on that bench very much because it didn't turn out to be that comfortable. So in the end, I decided to take it apart and reuse the wood so that I could build new furniture and completely change the look and style of my balcony. Because I used screws to put the bench together and didn't use any glue, it was really easy to take apart. This was a pretty big bench, so I ended up with a lot of wood to work with for my new furniture. After taking inventory of all the boards, measuring everything, and thinking about it for a while, I came up with a plan to build a simple bench and a small coffee table. I had to improvise to make it work and also ended up with lots of holes in random places, but wood filler and a fresh coat of white outdoor stain fixed all of that. I also had just enough wood to try out a new design for a chair, and I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but I'm really happy with the end results. So I'll be sharing how I made the chair and how I made the bench in some videos coming up soon. So do subscribe to my channel and also make sure that you hit that bell because that will make sure that you get notified when the videos come out. With the furniture taken care of, it was time to figure out something new for the walls. I love the reed fencing, but I was kind of tired of that look. And when I was on my walk one day around the neighborhood, I spotted these panels that are actually fake greenery. They look so real when I walked by, I had to take a closer look to see that they were actually fake. That gave me the idea of using that for my walls. I couldn't find these exact panels, but when I was searching on Amazon, I found these panels here that I absolutely love. They're called artificial boxwood panels. I wasn't quite sure how real they were going to look, and I was pleasantly surprised. Even when I compared them to the real thing, they still looked amazing. The reach fencing panels were easy to remove because I had simply screwed them onto the wall caps that I had made for the balcony walls. These wall caps were extremely easy to build using cedar fence posts, and because they just rest on top of the walls, I didn't have to do anything else to install them. Having these caps makes the top of the walls usable without having to worry about anything falling to the ground. I needed 12 panels to cover the entire back wall of my balcony, which is about 10 feet by 3 feet. You can use zip ties to secure the panels to metal railings or metal fence, but since I have a concrete wall, I use screws to attach them to the wall caps instead and then join the sections together. I thought I would also need to secure the panels to the wall at the bottom to prevent them from moving around, but I found that the weight of the panels made them hang flush with the wall without moving too much, so I decided to leave them like that. It's truly amazing how different the balcony looks with this lush green wall. It's beautiful and it's a perfect backdrop to make this colorful rug and white furniture stand out. I reused the outdoor foam from the storage bench to make new cushions for the furniture. And since I'm not much of a sewer, I got some help from a friend to make some new cushion covers that coordinate with the rug. My planters were a bit neglected and many of the plants had died. So I cleaned out the dead plants and cleaned out all the dirt and old liners to get a fresh start. I improvised some new liners for the planters with a piece of tarp that I had, which I secured at the top with some string. Hopefully this new mix of plants will be happy in their new home. I reinstalled the outdoor LED lights that I had, but I did it in a different pattern to get a different lighting effect, and this time I also used removable outdoor double-sided tape instead of the screws. Just makes things easier. And last but not least, I also made this wall hanging reusing the wooden carved tile that I already had. I stapled a piece of canvas drop cloth to some plywood, whitewashed it with a mixture of white stain and water, let it dry and then sealed it with Mod Podge. I also whitewashed the wood tile and then hung it on the plywood. 
And with that, the transformation is complete. Love the new furniture, and I especially love that boxwood wall. What a difference it made. Leah was very curious about all the changes, and from the looks of it, I think she approves. I really enjoy starting my day on the balcony with a cup of coffee. And in the evening, the lighting makes the balcony so cozy and inviting. I can't say enough how much I love these smart lights. Not only do they give a beautiful light, but you can change the color, the intensity, and even put them on a timer, controlling all of that from your smartphone. I love these lights. They're the best invention ever. I had some friends over to give the new furniture and layout a test drive, and it was so much more comfortable than before. Four people might be a bit much for the bench, but overall there was plenty of room for all of us to move around and hang out. I absolutely love everything about this balcony, and in case you're looking for some info on the products that I use, I'll have all the details in the video description below. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you want to find out how I built the bench, the table, and the chair, I'll be uploading videos on that very soon, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that. And if you want more inspiration to decorate your balcony, you can watch these videos here. And if you want to find out what I'm up to day to day, follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.